Welcome back to Space Engineers, folks. We started putting windows on, on our rover last time, and uh, it didn't really work. So we are going to change it. And I think we're going to have to come out. Hmm. Might have to come out one more. Nah. Nah. We will... Let's see. Window. And I want a... One by two flat. And then I want... I think that's it. So... And there is no place to put it because those things are in the way. So we're going to have to put these back in again first. And I think I'll put them like this. So... We're the same way, yeah. And I think that's better that... Um, are we really full? Yeah, we are. Alright, let's go drop off some of our stuff so we can pick that up and keep building. Whoa! Okay, let's drop off a couple hundred of you and... Well, actually... Pick up a hundred of you again. I hurt myself a little bit there. Going a bit too fast. Come on, grab it, grab it. Man, I can't grab it. I'm full again. <sighs> Don't fly into that thing again. Should do it. Okay. Grab as much stuff as we can. All right. So if we stand here, stop flying around, and say you need to go in there. To go in on. All right, fine. Hold you up first. Then we will stick another one. Why won't it go in? There. And then, I suppose, I need to pick you up, can't do, there, there, let's weld those up, alright, and then, last two of these there and there okay now you have to go And we need to put you back in, but the other way around. So, like that, like that. All right. 
coming together some, somehow. We can put in the slopes up here as well. There, there, there. Oh, not there. There. You, go away. There. All right. Okay. That's all in place. Then we just need it to be in place over here on the corner. And we do have corners. We have a one by one somewhere. Window one by one face. Window one by one slope I need. Let's try this and see what that is. Okay, that's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay. So there. Ah. Six bulletproof proof glass we need. Grab ten and get that done and see how that looks. Actually, looks okay. I think it looks okay. Yeah, I like it. I kind of like it. Right, we're going to need some steel plates for what we're doing ne next. And drop those off. We can drop those off. We need steel plate. And probably going to need some construction components as well. Maybe some interior plates. And let's go play around with this and now we need to either go in the back or the butt or the butt or the door rather and I want to come out here give ourselves a little bit of space in the cockpit So we're going to need to color this thing. Uh, what colors do you think it should be? Uh, if you have an opinion on that, I am colorblind. So whatever you come up with will probably be better than anything I could come up with. So there. And then we need... Oh, I think I'm going to make it one longer. Yeah. There. Then we need steel plate. Oh, no going out that way anymore. Storm inbound. Do not hit my rover or my base. Uh, know for a fact that we should have a quite a lot of steel plate there's 50,000 are they coming did you shoot each other dummies
Dang it. All right, what do you need? You need computers and motors. <laughs> Stupid turrets. Um, drop you off. All right. We have some computers there and we have some motors there. That should be more than enough. Stupid, stupid turrets. Don't shoot each other, guys! Or anything else that's mine. This stuff up here is all not going. Jesus, guys. Okay. Why aren't you guys going? You're not broken. You're not broken. You're not broken. Yes, something is broken. This thing is not welded up. Hmm. I don't know why those those guys aren't going. We'll worry about that later. We're going to need some more steel plates. Might have been a bad idea to put the wind farm on the roof. Maybe I should go ahead and move that. Make like a separate wind farm with a tunnel coming over to one of the legs. one of the pillars of the base. I think that might be a good idea. That's a problem for another day. That is a problem for another day because right now we are building our rover so that we can go fight. Because I really want to try out fighting and by fighting I don't mean getting shot down in five seconds. Because uh, that was a bit of a letdown, I have to say. Um, let's see, stairs. I want... Ooh, medical station. Ooh. I want those. There and there. Oh, yeah. And what do we need for those small steel tubes? Okay. There should actually only be one. There can only be one. And I want it over here, I think. Then I want a door here, which we have right there. Lighting door. And then we will have walls. Uh, I think, you know what, I think we're going to try those interior wall things. Hope they're all facing the same way if they're not i might start crying a little bit mm, what 
Uh, we're not supposed to be there. So far, so good. We need some more interior plate. And we need some more... Well, just... We need interior plate and we need small steel tubes, bulletproof glass and displays. So what did we need? We needed some bulletproof glass. I think 50 is enough for that. We need small steel tubes, more than those. Uh, small steel and more than that too. Uh, I'm like, like a thousand. Grab those, and then we need uh, compute. No, I have computers. Need displays. And I thought we needed one more thing. I guess not, or maybe we do, and I can't remember. While we're here, let's fill up our hydrogen and our power. There. I still don't get why this. Yeah, all right. So I don't get why when I put my hydrogen tanks into my cargo containers, they don't get transferred to the H2O2 generator. Because it is hooked up. It is hooked up. Completely. All way. It really should be possible. But I don't know. I don't know. Alright. Let's this interior plate was the one thing I forgot, but we can build our door. Okay. And you know what, while we are here, I think we will see if we can't pick up uh, stuff for a control seat. Oh, I need some of you still. And I probably need some more interior plate. Uh, so, G seat. We want... We want this flight seat. Yeah. We do, and all components were successfully withdrawn. Thank you very much. All right, we're getting there. I think we'll be done with this build in the next episode, and then we'll be able to go and see how it actually drives and how we. Uh, let's see. Uh, those stairs don't seem right. Try that again. That doesn't look right. That doesn't look right. That looks right. Now I just need to rotate it. 
but it doesn't look right because there we have it that's much better all right so we can come in here close our door and we have our little cockpit here cool i'm thinking of switching these out with glass at least two of them I think that would look nice. We'll see. Control seats. I think we're going to sit on over a little bit over to one side. Well, we, we can't sit in the middle, so it's as easy as that. But I think we'll actually go... Here. Right. Let's sit in our control seat. And we can drive. We're moving. We're moving. We are moving. Aha. Oh. We need the turn circle to be a little bit better. And we need to stop. Stop! That's pretty nice. Whoa! Right, that turn circle isn't as okay let's go back to close to the base okay cool and there is no brake power in this whoa Let's, uh, control panel, wheels, and all of them are on steering. Uh, it might be that we're breaking so bad because of... of the uh, the ice I don't know about that do they all have brakes on they do I think yeah all right but it's moving it is moving all right it annoys me a little bit that that's like that and that's like that. You see the green lines? Actually, it annoys me quite a bit, but it is what it is. I'm not going to change it. How, how are the batteries looking? We can just jump into our passenger seat here. Uh, control panel, battery. Fully recharged in two days. Before it was 19 hours. Did we really use that much power? <clears throat> Just for that little drive? If we did, we are going to need another source of power than just the solar panels up there. And I think we do need another source of power. So... We do have a hydro hydro hydrogen gen generator. Hmm. 
and then we could do a tank. We want a hydrogen tank. Don't really need an oxygen tank. We do need a small cargo container. And we probably need, well, we do need conveyors. So if we stick a couple of small cargo containers up here, Like that, like that, and then do the same over here. Then we should have the cargo space that we need, I think. And then we need the generator. Does it have? On both ends, it does. So we could stick that up there. Or stick it like that. Stick it like that. Do we want to have two of them? Why not? So like that and then we need our hydrogen tank which is humongous and we can stick that in something like there I guess let's just move over here I don't want it to be upside down But that, if we stick it there, then we won't be able to pipe up that turret. I think we'll stick it down here. Like so. Actually, let's so that's hydrogen. Hmm. Do we want a refinery and a assembler on here? I don't think we do for now. Why don't we stick you here? Yeah. Let's see, what do we need? We need large steel tubes, small steel tubes, computers. Um H2 Okay, one, two of you, a small cargo container for you, and hydrogen tank, Ooh, hydrogen engine, <laughs> that's what I want, right? Well, I, I do want a hydrogen engine. All right. Let's go grab all the stuff. And then... I think in the next episode we will... 
loads her up and test her out. Okay. Build up as much as we can here. Can I get to <laughs> I can't get to the cargo containers in the back now. Okay. Let's go grab some more stuff. Almost done. You need large steel tubes. You need a computer. Well, we're almost done. All right. Well, I have all that stuff. And keep going. So, well, this up. Ooh, it just needs two more large steel tubes. And we don't have anything else. So, all right. So, in the next episode, we'll finish this up and we will close up the rover and take it for a spin of course give it some ammo and stuff first take it for a spin and see if we can't find some trouble so thank you very much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did why not leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you next time